January in February. The attorneys for the McMichaels filed two motions in late December. One requested that Arbery not be called a victim in the trial, arguing it would be prejudicial. The second motion asked the court to limit pictures of Arbery to just one during the trial and that he appear by himself in that picture. Arbery was jogging when the McMichaels chased him in their truck and shot him. Prosecutors say the two men thought he was behind several burglaries in their neighborhood. Both men have pleaded not guilty to the charges. Degrees. Let's get an update on the forecast with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. Good morning and happy Monday. We are waking up a little chilly but quiet here in the Miami Valley. Going through the day today, we're not going to get much sunshine, maybe just a few peaks here or there late this afternoon. And our sunshine tracker, again, Tuesday's not going to feature much and neither will Wednesday. So even though this week is relatively quiet, we don't have a big weather maker that's going to bring a lot of heavy rain or snow. Unfortunately, it's also not going to be sunny or featuring a lot of clear skies, which, you know, isn't necessarily the best news. But at least out on the roads should be easy for you to drive into work and home from school, uh, things of that nature as we're all getting back into the new schedule now for 2021. It's 33 degrees. Our wind is very light out of the west. So as Jesse mentioned earlier, we don't really have much fog here, but you may notice a little mist or drizzle out there early this morning. 32 in uh, Greenville. We're at 33 degrees in Xenia, 32 degrees in Urbana. Now the good news is even though the temperature is around freezing, if we do have mist or drizzle, the pavement is warmer than that. So I'm not expecting there to be any slick spots early this morning. Just be prepared for a cool day today. So as you're heading out the door, you'll want your winter jacket, maybe even a hat and gloves for the early morning hours. Here's a look at satellite and radar. You can see a lot of thick cloud cover over us. So we're not going to get sunshine this morning. We do have some weak returns pushing through parts of the Miami Valley if we look at live Doppler 7 radar. So again, could be seeing a little bit of light precipitation early this morning, uh, but not much to worry about. Temperatures will hover in the upper 30s to about 40 degrees. So we are not far from where we'll be this afternoon, and that's thanks, I think, to the clouds. We're just really not going to get a big warm-up today. We'll be around 37 in Bell Fountain and Salina, 38 in Troy, and 39 degrees in Eaton. Tonight, we do drop below freezing. We'll have a quick disturbance that comes in, and it will bring the chance for some light snow showers and flurries early tomorrow. So Futurecast just shows some of those weak returns pushing through early this morning in the thick cloud cover. So again, a little drizzle, maybe a flurry. For the most part, you're just pretty quiet early. By the late afternoon, we could get some thinning of the clouds, so maybe a few peaks of sun before the clouds thicken up later tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we'll wake up with cloudy skies, and you can see a few snow showers push through tomorrow as well. Very brief. I don't expect it to accumulate or cause any road issues for us. So at least that's good. You'll just see some snow showers out there at times. 38 degrees tomorrow and breezy, though. So the 38 tomorrow is going to feel pretty chilly thanks to that northwest wind that will kind of keep things on the cold side for us. And even though we are on a Monday, it's never too early to start thinking about the weekend. It does look like we'll have some good weather this weekend with really dry conditions holding off likely until Sunday. Our five-day forecast here, looking at the week, temperature-wise, we will be very close to normal, if not a little warmer than normal. But again, you can see each day we are pretty cloudy, so we're just not going to get a ton of sunshine. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. It's Monday morning. Let's check in with Sergeant Mark now. Good morning. Good morning again to you, Christy. No complaints with the way traffic looks out on the freeway system. If you're getting ready to head out anytime soon, things are moving well. I uh, will just have this camera pulled up a minute ago. This is Vandalia Interstate 75. This is the Northwoods Boulevard camera, a little, uh, a little bit north of Interstate 70, but you can see the light volume on the freeway here. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer in WHIO Team Traffic. 520, 33 degrees now. Soon, it could cost you more to buy imported liquor and wine. The reason taxes on imported alcohol could be going up. This Polish sausage is being pulled from store shelves. The labeling mistake that could make some people with allergies sick.